On November 8, 1944, Dr. James Whitmore tested a sample of U-boat hull steel from the U-534, a German submarine recovered after scuttling. The steel, designed to withstand pressure at 200 meters, failed at just 140 meters, snapping cleanly without warning. This consistent failure pointed to a critical problem with the steel, explaining why many U-boats disappeared mysteriously in deep waters during the Battle of the Atlantic. German U-boats, including the Type 7, were built with steel that was supposed to survive depths of 250 meters. However, Whitmore's tests revealed that the steel was brittle and failed under much lower pressure at 180 meters. The issue stemmed from a shortage of molybdenum, a critical alloy which Germany had reduced to conserve supplies for other military needs. This made the steel prone to sudden, catastrophic failure. The discovery had profound tactical implications. Allied forces, aware that U-boats could no longer dive safely beyond 180 meters, adjusted their depth charges to detonate deeper, forcing U-boats into their own destruction zone. By December 1944, U-boat losses surged, many lost in deep waters due to hull failure rather than enemy action. Whitmore's findings helped win the Battle of the Atlantic by turning a weakness in German submarine design into a tactical advantage, saving countless Allied lives. The discovery of faulty steel ultimately contributed to Germany's defeat.